G. Well, in a composition like this, it's a lot easier to hit a Shockwave Rumble Ultimate than a Shockwave Glacial Prison. We'll see what they can be doing here. The teams have been locked in, so head over to Twitter. Let us know who you think will be victorious. Make sure you're tweeting hashtag EDGWin or hashtag SKTWin. We'll see what goes on throughout the rest of the game. We'll get those votes tallied up, and we'll see if those Rumble Ultimates can be placed right under the beautiful Shockwaves of Easy Hoon as well. Pawn seeing if he can get aggressive here in the mid lane on this Cassiopeia. We'll see a little Pings. conflict right here. This is the danger of five men invading sometimes against an Annie, but they know the stun. They swap sides. Is up. Oh, that's going to be the flash coming out of Bang so he can get into position. Wolf very low in this one. It's a get excited that Deft is looking for here. If that happens, oh this is going to be God. very bad. There's one passive for him. He's going for more. Easy Hoon could go down now to Pawn. Another hit up for Deft. Three and kills. It's actually, three kills across the board. Pawn, Deft, and Mako. You see Marin moving into the mid lane. Yeah, at this point, point something. at this point, they're just hoping to get Easy Hoon ahead. Pawn was playing very aggressively out here. Marin, he couldn't push oh. up in his lane, so why not push up mid? First harpoon miss, but they're still able to come up with the kill. And we might not just have clear lock. We can have even Mako join Whoa. in as well. Marin, my there friend. They go. You're dead. <laughs> very, very dead indeed. Gets knocked up against the wall. Mid lane. Ooh. There are a lot of people on SKT. Notice how Marin is abandoning his lane a little bit because it is frozen on the other side. And Death came very yeah. close to actually walking up to that turret, but is instead waiting for his support. It won't be enough, though. Whoa. Still going up for the turret. They did not expect that much of a party from SKT to come to the top lane. Deft, he is definitely going down as they micro in and out on that turret aggro. Very nicely done by SKT. They set that in motion. Dragon for themselves, but Deft had to blow. Oh, he's healed though, and now Marin, he still has no flash for a few seconds. Oh, again, Marin actually just teleported back down to the bottom lane. Just have Def back at the turret. They don't go too hard on this one. Playing it safe, but getting the advantages that they need inside the jungle of SKT. So if EDG having all five players on the top side of the map, SKT has already gotten bot lane tower. Now they just go for this mid lane oh as boy. well. At least see if they can force a teleport bang to get out of there. Oh, right in. in from Easy. Or Pawn, rather, over Easy's ultimate. He could go down, though. Clear Love puts himself as the meat shield in between the culling. They don't have numbers Ooh, in this fight. Oh, no! It shot it back towards Pawn. Bang easily picks that one up. And two kills coming in now for SKT. Also know that Marin could teleport down. It's actually a bit of a tricky situation for them. If Wolf could somehow get level six, that's the danger right there. He's getting caught up by Coral. If they can take him down. I don't think Wolf is going to be able to get out of this one. EDG get ground. That may make this dragon theirs. Just power through, take down the tower. SKT once again, though, is trying to read it. They have Benki nearby. Teleport for both top laners, and now they're going in. Daft with a bit of sun in his eyes, but he's easily able to turn back. Koro now with the teleport in. They're going straight past the turret on this one. Actually goes down along with me. See, now the pressure towards the mid lane as the outer turrets are down. EDG going textbook style as SKT tries to put up the defense. We still have a fair number of ultimates. Nice shockwave! That's two. Koro's the one that's caught. Vengeful Maelstrom is on to mitigate a bit of damage. Right to Mako goes Bang, and he hits the ground. Bangy's now the focus of EDG, and they are turning away from the fight. Death completely out of mana, only with the Gatling gun from him. Ultimate already used, and they did not get the damage they wanted out of that. Trading one for one here, SKT pulling the engage as soon as the minion wave went down, so that the tower helping as well. A lot of members low. Coral, engage. looking for something, pop the Righteous Glory. Deft is full HP, but he has barely any mana left. Definitely flexing their muscles to keep this mid turret alive. Pawn, just a few shots from going down. Clear love over the wall. The Retribution kill coming in from Clear Love there. Bengi in a bad spot, and now he's in a worse one as he's down on the ground. Marin and Deft face to face. Double kill coming in for Deft. Clear love dodges the Zenith Blade from under the turret, and mid is theirs. Re-engaging fights is an EDG specialty. They do it again and again. Again, sometimes you call it greed. Bengi's still not there with his Scythe Stone Center Hulk. We mentioned how Marin has no armor. Unless they get that equalizer pretty much on top of the Shockwave, it's going to be and done. And look at this. Got to go fast. Talisman of Ascension comes out. Only stopped by the Shockwave, but they still have a Righteous Glory to keep moving forward. ED. Something we haven't talked about much. It has been so heavily banned, and Mako has started the fights here. Here's another one. 
Going to be Daft on the front line here. Ball plays from it by Easy, who cannot do much as he pulls it back. The alt is already down, and EDG are finding great picks here before this Baron objective. It's going to be Marin down for 20 seconds. Low, Easy, Hoon on mana and health, and they're going to be starting it. Casio, Jinx, they just destroy Baron. Do need the jungle in there. Need to deny Bengi. It is a potential steal. They need to really zone Bengi out here. Bengi has smited just Clear a few love. seconds. He's going in for it. 50-50. He oh, got it! Oh my god, he stole it! Clear Love could have just bumped him with a belly, considering when it was going down, but it was just too many options. They throw up the 50-50 Baron. Dragon now going to be a thing here. This is number four, so it pressures five. Something SKT has to go after here. They're planning the home guard TP right now. It's coming behind them. All the way back, about second tier turret near the wolf camp. Here he comes, Koro going right for Bang. Relentless Pursuit is used. That's his escape. His flash is down. He's only got summoner heal. Pawn hits a great ultimate from the side as he's not even given a worry about Bengi. Mako now turning back here, and it looks like EDG may not have assessed this fight. They got fight the A little too spread out. And you're right, Deficio. The carries to keep delivering the damage down. But it looks like EDG thrives in that chaos still. A three for two. They don't have the greatest damage for Dragon because those carries did go down. So Koro's got to fight him a little bit, and if Bengi takes the damage off the Dragon, the rest of his team could arrive. It looks like he's running out of time, though. This time, EDG plays it very, very safe. Or do they? Bengi's getting a Here back the back backup right now. Koro, he is taking quite a bit of damage. There's not even any <laughs> armor paint coming out right now from Bang, but he's still able to put it out. A few more shots. Clear oh, no. That was damage that was necessary for the fight. Can Jinx get there in time? The kill going down under Clear Love. Another kill for Bang as he picks up a double. Wolf a little too close for comfort here. Death. Oh, gets pawn. Nice alt coming in from Easy Hoon. What chaos Prince. in these fights? Draw says Death, and he takes down Bang. And it's going to be a double kill coming in for Pawn. The two carries stay alive, and they thrive in the fight. The range for that steal. Rumble to Equalizer down, down too. Mako, there he goes. Oh, right on the wolf. They're going to grab the support. That's an easy one. A beautiful ultimate from Easy Hoon. But again, no follow up can come from that. Just deterring EDG from a faster re engage. Bang, Bang out. what are Even you with doing? 4 one on one here. That's going to be the Righteous Glory pop by him. He activates it so he gets the slow from that Randuin's effect. And now he still has his Twisted Advance to stay in range. Whoa. But it's the Super Mega Death Rocket coming in from Daft. Decent ward covered from SKT, but they are not in position to defend those wards. This is most likely going to be the fight that could end the game for EDG. And Marin was trying to make a play beforehand. Not the best play. Hatching a ward there as he tries to get in that fight. Def Slowly pushing their way in. Definitely hard hats on here for EDG. They don't want to go too crazy. It is in their blood to do so. <laughs> and they're just going to wait it out. The minion wave is what they will need to pressure onto this turret. You can see the top side already being aggressed on right now by Koro, and they are going to start spreading SKT thin here if they want to yeah. protect the base. Wolf has been using his Solar Flare far too early in multiple fights this game. It's really punished SKT. Now EDG can push with impunity. Looks like we're going to get a home guard teleport as well, right inside the base from Koro. Dives in and slowed down immediately, but he is causing chaos that SKT has to go and look for. And as they turn around, they get hit in the back of the head by Pawn. That's going to be the entire team going down. They'll find Marn on the fountain. Oh. He's Sonya's to stay alive. Death's going to try and do what he can. It's actually the ace coming in as Pawn picks up another one and goes down to the fountain laser valiantly. What a gold lead. What a game. It's all even here at the Midseason Invitational. One to one as EDG are able to take down SKT. 35 minutes in. 31 to 13. That level one for EDG turned out to be massive, but also the pick and ban phase. I honestly think SK Telecom realized that their plan was spotted by EDG. They already picked against it to try and counter this protect bank setup. So they changed up everything. Last pick, Leona for Wolf, who had a horrible game, honestly, on it.